Get me out of here! Good morning, good afternoon, it is one something. I woke up, I released my vlog. I don't know what's happening. As of right now, the situation is that, I mean, it's clearing up. It's not snowing right now, and the roads have been plowed and all that jazz, but like, the situation right now is there's two flight options. One is today, but the, the, the flight today that I'm booked on is going to Salt Lake City. I'm already missing my panel, missing everything. The point of this flight is I would leave and go to Salt Lake City, land at 12.30 a.m., so past midnight, and then try to catch my outbound flight to, flight to L.A. at 8.30 a.m. I would have to stay in the airport for eight hours. I don't want to do that. There's no direct flights going from New York to L.A. today because they're all booked. So that's the only purpose, that I would go to Salt Lake City just to catch my flight to L.A., having missed everything. That is irritating to me. The second option is that tomorrow morning there's a flight to L.A., which would make me very, very late for my shoot possibly even screwing over the whole shoot and not allowing it to happen. What is even happening here? Why? So those are the two options. None of them are ideal. A third miraculous option that's not working right now, but maybe it will, is that Sarah is booked on a flight today to LA and she's trying to switch it to give that flight to me. They're not letting her because like there's a long lineup of people who want flights, but we're trying to see if a travel agent can do it where they can just take her ticket and switch it to my name and Sarah would sacrifice her plane ticket for me because I need to get back for the shoot. These are situations. I'm gonna eat my last soup thing. I think things are open. I'm gonna venture out and try to figure it out later. I'm super bummed also because I made the sacrifice. I had tickets to Royal Rumble. I didn't tell anyone, but I had tickets to Royal Rumble and I sacrificed Royal Rumble, which is today, to go to Sundance. You know, as a responsible person who's like, no, I need to like care about my career. And now I'm not even going to Sundance or Royal Rumble. It's just like, had I just gone to Royal Rumble, maybe I just would be at Royal Rumble and not in this situation. Hug yourself every time I said Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble. Let's get ready to rumble. So yeah, this situation. I don't even know. No, 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 no. They found me a flight. I need to leave right now. They found me a flight. They found me a flight. I need to leave. I need to leave. What should I do? Should I take a nap? No. <laughs> It's gonna be a lot of fun getting that car out. <laughs> okay, so the airport is absolute chaos. All the workers are so stressed. I keep making conversation with them, so they'd be nice. I'm like, hey, I know it's not an ideal day at work for you, but like, you know, hang in there just because some of them are like so, they're over it. It's chaos, I got the security chaos. So, let's talk about this for a second. My flight is a stopover. I have a stopover in Boston to get to LA. That's the only way I can get to LA, stopover in Boston. My flight got delayed 45 minutes, so now it's like my flight lands at 7.02 and my connection is 7.30. It's very, very tight. So I just checked the screen and my flight is delayed 45 more minutes, which means I will, there's no way I can catch my flight. I'll miss my second flight and be stranded in Boston now. So guess what? I'm not getting on this plane because I'll be stranded in Boston. So now, after 30 minutes of trying to figure it out, I'm on standby for a direct flight at 6, at 9.45 and at 11 and have a confirmed flight just in case none of those work at 6 a.m. The time right now is 4 p.m. So basically for the next 14 hours there's a possibility I'll be at this airport. Although Sarah has suggested that if I don't get on the first one just to go back to a hotel, go to sleep and come back at 6. Can you believe this? This is the craziest travel experience of my life. I just cannot get out of the city right now. I And I have a shoot all day tomorrow. I just I can't. I just need, you know what? You know what? I need fries. I need fries and I need a, a Cosmo. Fries and Cosmo, possibly mixed together. Waiting for the standby. Fingers crossed. Even the standby is delayed, so I'm thinking that if I don't get on this one, I might just go back to the hotel so I can do like some proper work. That's what I'm thinking. Instead of just staying here for like 10 more hours. Everyone in this airport is going crazy because there's a football game going on. They're like cheering and yelling at the screen. And as a Canadian, I know nothing about football. And I'm like, what are you guys doing? They're like going crazy and yelling and cheering in the airport. I'm like, hockey? What? I'm sitting here like a child that was forgotten at the mall. Everyone else is gone. And I'm like, you gonna call my name or? Doesn't look like he's calling my name. Jennifer. I'm not Jennifer. Who's Jennifer? Who the F is Jennifer? That's not me. No luck. I don't know what to do. It's gonna take me an hour to get back to my hotel, an hour to get back to the airport. My flight's at 6 a.m. I have to come here at like 4. And it's like 7.40 something p.m. right now. So it's like, I don't know what to do. I don't freaking know, I'm so over this. I just wanna get home. All my friends are sending me pictures of my screening. The ones that are there, Trey and Susie and Mamie and all of them. And I'm just sad, I'm annoyed. But I'm still gonna be positive. I don't know if I should wait for these next two because I might not get on them, so I don't know. And now I just realized, I don't know where the hell my baggage is because I didn't get on the Boston flight, so I need to go figure that out. Next thing you know, my suitcase went to, no, it couldn't have went to Boston without me on the flight. You know what? I don't even know. 
Okay, so I went to ask the guy and he actually found me a seat on the next flight. Um, so in like an hour and a half, I should be on a plane. I should be on a plane, but, that, but I've said that many times. So I actually have a confirmed seat for the next one. It's an aisle seat and I'm not, beggars can't be choosers, it's fine, but it's just like, I'm really not good at flying if it's not a window seat, even with all this experience, but it's fine. Um, and then I'm gonna land at LAX at like 1 a.m. <sighs> Hopefully, if all goes to plan. So I bought some, so I bought some cupcakes um, to make myself feel better about the situation. And they only had like mini cupcakes. And I'm just like, do you have any like real cupcakes for like real people? But they didn't. So they're like these little small one bite cupcakes that like, I don't know. Delicious. And this flight is delayed. I'm finally about to board this damn plane and I could not be more ready to go back to LA. Oh my god. Oh my god. The next issue is, I don't know if I already mentioned this in the vlog, I'm like forgetting, I'm going crazy. So my suitcase is on the way to Boston. I don't know when it's gonna get to LA and all my makeup is in the suitcase and I need it for my shoot tomorrow. What is this seat I'm in? If you are unable, unwilling, or feel you may suffer harm from performing those functions described on the card. It's 2 a.m. Just landed in LA, finally. I'm gonna hope and pray, somehow, some way. I'm gonna go to baggage claim, and my bag's gonna be somewhere there. It's unlikely, but I'm gonna hope and pray. I'm so happy to be back. Blessed life. Blessed life. I'm back. <laughs> I missed you. My bag is not here. It's in Boston. It's coming tomorrow. Way too late for my shoots. And I have to literally hire a makeup artist to do simple makeup to record a video tomorrow. It's like, not my Monday video, another video shoot I have. It's just, this blizzard has, have such, has, ha, la, 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 has had such rippling effect of so many things. It's caused a delay in so many things and an inconvenience in so many things, but I'm so happy to be home. It's pretty late and I'm pretty tired. I'm going to eat some cereal. I'm gonna fix Chase's room a bit. Chase is coming tomorrow. He's staying here for like 20 days. I might even sweep because like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Just stand by. Oh, I need to do my laundry so badly. Okay, I just set up Chase's bed and by set up, I put a towel on it, put some toothpaste on it. I was like, yo, welcome and stuff. Um, God knows he's gonna come wake me up at 9 a.m. Time is, Hey Lily, you can't check the time when you're recording. How many times did you learn this lesson? I think it's like three something. I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna edit this vlog. I'm gonna go to bed. Bless life. Bless life for being back home. Oh my God, bless life. Tomorrow is such a chaotic day. It's video day. I have a video shoot. I have an interview. Um, and just like so many things to catch up on. So that's what's up. Thank you so much for joining me on this crazy chaotic mission of a day i hope your day was less stressful than mine and tomorrow's a new day so positivity will prevail P prevail okay my words are my words are becoming mashed potatoes mashed potatoes mm. Mm. if you like it subscribe if you like it subscribe if you like it subscribe yeah. i've never experienced anything like this everything is closed taco bell is closed all the stores are closed it's like the whole city is shut down there's no food anywhere and there's no cars it's like it's like death. It's like legit death. I don't know what I'm gonna do.